please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The worst one that is the most impactful to me still today. Um, so like I mentioned before, we were around the Red Cross area of Baghdad, which is the Christian sector. Um, um, and um, <clears throat> trying to stop those those V bids and, and any kind of <clears throat> um, vehicular assaults, even if it's not a V bid, it's you know fast, you know, like running the gate type thing. We're out there and trying to do the the escalation of force. You know, you show you sign, show, shoot, you know, all that type of stuff where you're trying to motion vehicles that are approaching you to, you know, either turn the heck around or, you know, warning shots and everything like that at, at, the, at the time. Um, so we had three trucks, uh, three different avenues of approach, but uh, the, this main one was um, two lanes divided with just like a curb down the middle. It was all in, in a guardrail. And um, our, our visibility down that route uh, was probably 12 or 1400 yards. I mean, it was probably five or six city blocks. Um, and um, maybe even further. Um, I mean, it was close to, you know, your max range even uh, for 50 cal. Um, so we had quite a long time to be able to like show people that, hey, this is not a route you want to come down. And um, I get this, the only way to describe the vehicle is like one of those um, short buses, if you want to call it a bus, um, that, you know, like the airport shuttles or, you know, the ones that take retired folks to the casino, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the, it pulls out probably 1,100 meters out uh, from uh, from the left and pulls out headed towards us um, and uh, guns it's got the high beams on um, guns the motor and it's racing towards us as you know at pace of a turtle but um, as fast as it can go and uh, we get out there <clears> home <throat> lights flashing at it still racing towards us um, so we put on the uh, the uh, we had the um, green laser and we were able to use that to like put and put it in the windshield and say hey there's people here and, and rifles and everything like that <clears throat> still didn't slow down um, moaning because they're probably at six or seven hundred yards now so we're actually shouldering rifles uh, m16s at them um, when we were doing this we had uh, every round we, we stacked our rounds so every round for the like the first five or six was tracers in the in the new magazine and uh <clears throat> so we could bounce it you know bounce a tracer off the off the pavement to the right or left of the of the vehicle but they would see that sucker skip and still doesn't um still doesn't slow down doesn't turn doesn't do anything and it's still like pedal to the metal just racing as fast as it can go and finally, we're just like, you know, at, at 400 yards, 300 yards, um, we're probably, you know, we're like, we, we've got to shoot this truck. We're going to shoot this this uh, short bus. And um, 50 cal, I'm standing out front, and then I got a buddy of mine um, on the other side of the lane. And then the 50 cal is right, pretty much pointed right down the, the striped line, uh, dividing the lane. And he let about a 60, 70 round burst go right into the engine block, right into the windshield. And, um, and um, it uh, blows tires, engine pops, oil and, and coolant and steam and stuff goes everywhere. And uh, <clears throat> it uh, uh, flips, it pops over onto the driver's side and comes sliding to a halt. And then you see those those kind of school bus doors open on top, and it's nothing but women and children coming out of there. And they were um, they were uh, trying to escape uh, the um, the uh, soldiers that were chasing them behind them. 
and uh, I held a 12 year old girl um, that had been shot in the hip with a 50 cal. And I was doing any, anything and everything I could to be able to prolong it. I was pulling out um, old t-shirts and, and socks and everything to do. I can turn a kid off. Of course, I had my own, but I was like, I can't do that because that might be mine. Um, but trying to do anything I can to stop bleeding and everything like that. And I pick her up and I'm carrying over to the doc and I'm like, doc, 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 I need you. And he just says, put her down. There's nothing I can do. And hmm. I saw, I mean, she had blue eyes that were damn close to yours. And I just saw those things like sparkle and then dim. And there's, there's nothing I could do. That's a rough one. I mean, I wasn't the one on the butterfly, but I was a told I was the guy that told him to shoot. That sucks, man. Show of force and escalation of force. And of course, at that time, none of us knew if that was gonna be our last day or what. Like we all, you know, protected each other and did what we had to do. Please like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more stories.